do you like that? Uh, sort of they're, they're, and do you understand why that they would be kind of just so quick with that pick? Yeah, I mean, it looks like a way better draft from them. They're mixed. They have great catch for the puck, multiple different forms of catch, of course, with that line and the DK. So in theory, it looks a lot better. We saw something similar, though. The thing about Nagasarn is it, it is a hero that can be a bit tough to utilize if you don't have ways to have space made for you. And that's why I like what the panel is talking about, is if this Doom gets shut down, could be problems for this Naga to find that space. This is one of the harder carries to actually play in a lot of instances if you don't have some type of, like, wombo combo. You know, you don't have, like, some Enigma, some... Oops. I think my uh, microphone's cutting out for a second. One second. Uh, if you don't have some like Disruptor Enigma where your song's going to be like really nice to set up a big team fight, they don't have that. But they do have the disengage. So we'll see if this Naga's be able, able to get off the floor and able to have this clean game. Because we've also seen the Monkey King Lycan work against the Naga. The other day, the one we were casting, if you remember, Fly Fly was like enormous. One of the biggest Nagas I think we've ever seen. And then they just consecutively lost four or five team fights in a row versus the Lycan and lost the game. And let's see if um let's see what build Monet goes for also because last time we saw this they did go for the radiance on the monkey king. It wasn't yeah, all about like I mean, an early game. I think there's definitely going to be the temptation to do that again. Yep, depends on uh, how they want to the play. Nagasar. How like how speedy they want to play. Like if they just like want to just crush the map early on and put pressure onto the naga, or if they want to be like, okay, we can play a farm game too if you want. We'll I mean, see. This time round, that top lane, is there any chance that Monet has? as free as a start as he did last game, or do you, th do you think it's got to be a bit more contested this time? It shouldn't be as free, but it could still become pretty free. I mean, we've oh, okay. seen these enchantresses dominate lanes as well. It's a monkey versus a doom. He's got a Marana to back him up, so it's, I mean, it's probably better than having the lion. But the thing is now, the lion is in a lane bottom that's versus Clockwork and Lycan, so XXS should just be able to free farm, even though he's playing versus like the, light, the uh, Naga counter. Mid, Paparazzi, I mean, he should have a very good time in this game, though. Yeah, let's see how top goes. Should be better. Should be quite a lot better. Honestly, like, infinitely better for JT. Yeah, last game, we pretty much had JT getting pretty much the bare minimum XP uh, with how many denies Monet was getting in that safe lane. Monet is prioritizing denies again here, but they are starting to get some of these last hits. DY dropping low. They brought a ton of regen, though, up top. Similar that we saw last time for the Doom. He brings like double sets of tangles and a salve, double sets of tangles on the Doom. Lane is getting pulled back on bottom. They don't want to play versus this, you know, they don't want to play like a straight up lane versus this lion plus Naga. And it's good to, and I mean, it's good to always see Kaka playing his lion. I like how it became a little bit better because they picked the puck into it in a way, but. I mean, because that, that is the thing, you know, this game, it's its definitely one of the games where there, there's a few answers for the puck, right? Definitely. XWY has got to be very careful jumping around these fights. And this Clockwork is going to take a lot of damage here from the stun when the creeps go on him. Kaka's trying to maximize his right clicks. Ghost is coming over. This could, this could be a kill. Let's have a look. Is there any way out of this for Sami's cat? He's no, okay. he's, he's fast enough. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Ghost doesn't want to spend any other time chasing him, of course. If they're able to we'll, get we'll still be front. able to grab it. Yeah. They're able to get in front of maybe some body blocks or something. Kaka, he's still running over oh. to connect. Okay, another stun. And that. Oh, fairy fire. It's going to be close. He needs what, oh. one more hit. The stop oh, block. Was it enough? He needs one more. Now it's too late. Yeah, he's not getting it now. Under the tower. It, he's perfectly fine. Very close, though. Kaka nearly able to take that first blood, but it uh, won't happen quite yet. And JT, he is... I mean, it's not as bad as last time, but he is starting to get zoned with these levels that come out for Monet and with the backup of the Enchantress. Yeah. Mid, though, we see S Paparazzi. Domination. He's owning. Yeah, 16-7. Yeah, versus the Puck. This is what you expect to see when uh, the DK's in good hands. Yeah, you just stun, secure so many last hits. You go for the stats build. XWI requires runes to make sure that he just can deny. farm and pressure. Yeah, deny after deny after deny. Yeah, so lane's looking a, quite a bit better. But the Naga, I mean, Ghost is actually... He's getting slowed down a little bit down here versus this Lycan. He has a line behind him, so it makes it a lot harder. Because Kaka, I mean, if Kaka gets caught once the Clockwork hits two with some Wolves and Cogs, could just die. DY. Also going to take a bit of a beating, but he'll have the wave. So constant pulls coming out. JT Prime making the call like, hey, I'm not really farming much up here. And JT, he actually did not go Devour. Okay, that's a bit interesting. I mean, he'll get it at three, but that already slows down your bonus gold right. by quite a bit. He wouldn't be able to eat like two or three creeps already. Yeah, well, what, what do you think sort of the, the, the idea was here? I mean, 
he feels that he's going to be able to trade a bit with the Monkey King or with the Blade? Or honestly, I'm not sure because I think you sure. almost always want to have that Devourer. Well, this a could one. actually maybe even be a misclick. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe he no. thought that they could fight back a little bit better, but I mean, we'll see. Now he's got what the two points in Scorch and a point in Infernal Blade. But he could just he he he's got to be careful how far he steps up versus Monkey King. I'm not sure. Yeah, this I looks mean, it looks weird. like he's trying to trade with them, but it it, it doesn't feel good. No, this yeah, this definitely feels a little weird. I mean, he's going to be very poor because of it. The lane already sure. going rough, and he's not going to have devour points to get that extra gold. But okay, I and mean, we'll see if it's able to find him some type of kills. As oh, some dot dot dots. What's going on? Translate. I don't know what the first word that. that he said was. What, what do you mean? You don't, you don't know what any of the words mean. Well, sometimes you can get like the letters, you know, like that. Right. Sometimes we see similar ones. Come on. Some of the symbols. We're getting used to it. Oh, there you go. Uh, so uh, Siamese gets it lost frame. So okay. frame drops. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. That translated very cleanly. Ready. Next WI is like, yeah, I can't get. Look, I'm losing mid. Of course, I'm getting some lost frames. <laughs> no, it's a rough matchup. I mean, we've even seen these DKs win most matchups lately as JT dropping super low. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually been liking DK a lot more lately than. The boring DKs of the past. The new build is just, it's very fun if you're able to get like these Ags and Mantas and stuff like that. No. This is a tremendous wave. This is, yeah, this this is, is like, like almost a three, yeah, like two and a half. Is it a triple wave or something? All right, let's see if they can look to put any pressure onto Monet with it. Kaka actually makes his way up here. They make the call. I mean, they're they're like, like, yeah, let's get on wave. with the creeps. I mean, this, could, this, this could maybe work. I, they should get Monet here. Oh, he's going to try and... Got his way through the trees. He's keeping his distance from Kaka. I mean, now it's like a quad wave. What? <laughs> what is going on? DY just dies to the. T Wait. <laughs> I think they got a little too excited there with all the creeps coming in. Uh, yeah, DY goes down. <laughs> I mean, Monet misses, honestly, oh, wait, like seven last hits maybe or something like that, but DY just walks into the tower and he's the closest one in range. Okay, well, that just happened. What? <laughs> I just witness. Oh, that was funny. But I mean, they're zoning Monet off of this wave. Like, they Boca, are. he's got to get are. the last hits. And they might get a Boca. Okay. I mean, this is a pretty cool rotation from Kaka, I would say. Probably saying Ghost is probably making the call. They're not pressuring me down here with the clockwork like it. And now we're going to have tri lanes. Uh, there we go. They're bringing the back up. But uh, Monet is getting taken out pretty low. The call like, tries to jump in, Monet. No way. He's going to live. And uh, DY down again. Do they have any regen for Monet? Uh, yeah, they're TPing in. Yep, they do. Uh, they'll be able to bring heals in, no problem. So uh, Monet's going to be able to stick in the lane. And uh, yeah, able to soak up uh, a couple of kills of XP. JT. Uh-oh. JT? Oh, no. He's oh, trying he's to get dead. out the cogs, but it's, uh, it's not going to happen. JT goes down. I mean, it was a cute little move with the rotation from Kaka, but now they'll pay in mid. They find XWY. Nah, he's fine. He's, he's fine. He's all good. Now they're going to have to make the rotation to mid, though, since DK has hit six before the puck. Puck does have DD. How close is he to Dream Coil? One more creep. One more creep. There we go. So he has got the ult. They want to play with it. Oh, man. Are they actually just. They want to get JT again. Are they just again? bullying him? I think they really are. Can they. Nah, it's hard to get him here. Oh, he gets the courier, though. <laughs> So uh, they will be able to force him away from the wave. They did the same ward as last time. This is definitely one that people are going to have to look at, look at replays to take out for Master. Catapult, he blocks it. Nicely done from Baboka. And they'll get the ward this time. They watched it. They, they, they went back and looked at it. Let's check the replay here. Yeah. Oh, JT. JT. I'm going to be able to build up the Jingu Mastery and uh, Simon's Cat's trying to get in onto JT. Uh, but we'll get caught with the stun from Kaka underneath the tower. A couple more tower hits. And uh, this time, it will be Siamese Cat dying under the tier one. This is very exciting, though, compared to last time where we had, like, what, five kills in the first, like, 20 minutes? We've already got six for seven. I mean, they're, they're definitely going to be feeling a lot better about the start this yeah. time around at XG. But Still, though, certain things here for Asta looking pretty nice. You're giving a Lycan a free lane. Like, XXS, he's got Dominator finished up. Level six already on this Lycan, too, and... We've seen what this hero can do if he does get this crazy, like, fast item timing on Helm of Overlord. The damage is ridiculous. Even for something like DK, you shred right through him. Paparazzi, though, having this very good start. Treads, double bracer, super tanky. 
Monet in a 1v1 for J versus JT. JT could be in trouble mid, also Kaka. JT gets solo killed by Monet. Can Paparazzi get him back? No. no. Straight TP out from Monet, plays it cool. And Paparazzi now leaving the mid lane. Aster, they're going to start their own push going with this Enchantress here. I thought Baboka might, or I thought XXS might actually make the move over also with the Lycan to try to take out this tower, but instead he takes out Ghost Courier and he's still going to continue just playing the lane there. This tower is dropping quick. JT, he's, he's definitely struggling. Not exactly as bad as last time, but pretty similar, to be honest with you, with, when it's a Doom. I mean, that yeah, that's the thing, right? It's, it's not a good spot to be in when you're playing oh. the Doom and, and, and you're the lowest core net worth at this stage. Oh, definitely not. XWI making the move down bottom to pick up the bounty. Maybe looks to pressure Ghost here, too. Yeah, Ghost might actually have to leave the lane. On the flip side, though, Paparazzi trying to take advantage of this move. Trying to take out mid. He's got Dragon Form in two seconds. They'll find Baboka. Oh, nicely played. Paparazzi very strong at this point of the map. Yeah, good moves, good moves. Should be able to take, or at least force this tower low. They will lose the tower bottom. XXS getting his own push going. This is going to be a super farmed Lycan, but yeah, they're going to make that tower trade. Mid tower, of course, more important too. So XG, I think they're pretty happy with this. Now it's going to put Paparazzi on track to getting a good timing with with his blink, which is uh, it's going to be rather hard for some of Aster's heroes to deal with. A lot that this a lot that this DK can do this game. Yeah, blink DK plus a lion versus that puck. They could just continuously find XWY if he's not careful. Paparazzi. Wow, that was a, that was a very long waiting rift. What the? <laughs> we'll get the regen rune. Continue to be able to farm, find that good timing on Blink. And we do see yeah, Monet, he's you know, he's queued up the Radiance as we kind of expected. So they will have ways to deal with this Naga Siren even as game does progress. At least from the Monkey King. Yeah, big tower damage here. That was the levels looking. Kaka has hit level 5. And he's got the Tome. So it has 6. So they have Burst. For pretty much anybody they catch now with this finger. And JT starting to get that recovery online. Monet's pump faking. He's waiting for JT to step up too far, but JT is being careful. Bottom. Ghost. Uh, they should, should have, have the same of the illusions. Ooh, Ooh maybe not, actually. Maybe not. DY's got another leap. Is it going to be quite enough? There's the other one. One more hit. Denied to neutrals. Okay, no, he tries to run, and that does mean that uh, yeah, DY will still be able to claim the kill from that. And he gets an earned charge. DY is one of the few five players that I still... Well, I guess he's playing four, kind of, this time around. He's one of the few that just always buys earned. It's pretty cool. I like earned versus Monkey King also. I think a lot of people maybe don't think about the interaction of just preventing him from jumping in trees. Sometimes this continuous damage is, is good. It's nice. And there we go. Paparazzi blink immediately makes his move toward top. They're going to smoke. They want to kill Monet. They want to slow down this timing. And this this looks like they should get him here. Monet. Yeah, this this should catch him by surprise. Hard yeah. to read that sort of move with the blink reveal. Bang. So blink reveal. Can likely get some tower pressure also. On the flip side, though, Aster, as soon as they see that DK top, they're going to start pressuring toward the mid lane also. Well, should be a tower trade here. Incoming. I mean, all in all, uh, 12 minutes in, 5 to 6. Pretty close. Do, do, do you feel one of the, the sides is feeling a bit more comfortable with how the opening's gone? Uh, I'm not sure about more comfortable. I think they're both just, I think they're both feeling very good. I think the Naga's pretty happy, but yeah. I would say that uh, XXS is probably feeling incredibly good as this Lycan. He's just like, yeah, you, you snap pick Naga Siren to counter pick. Right, this Lycan in the lane, and this Lycan is literally going to have one of the most ideal Hum of the Overlord timing. And so. we're actually with the boots in the change from Monet. He switched it up to fighting? To, he's got, well, going for the Maelstrom build up. Okay. As his farming item. Rather than uh, going for that Radiant stream. Okay, cool. I mean, it's good versus the Naga as well, still, too, and it's good versus the tanky Doom and the DK. Gives him that farm outlet, too. Oh, and Ghost. That's a bit of an interesting one, also. He's gone for the early Void Stone just to have mana regen. So that he can just get that farm going. 
eventually, of course, you'll be able to upgrade it. So I guess Monet's trying to match a bit of a timing with his allies as they'll get the clock. Because with this Maelstrom, they're going to have like the Helm of Overlord timing, and I guess like the, uh, I mean, the Witchblade's already done for the puck, so maybe looking to fight a bit earlier. JT holding a skill point in case he does need this Doom. XWY has the DD and a Dust at the ready with Witchblade. But they're also hunting. Monet has to be careful. They definitely made the call because they saw the Moonlight Shadow in the wave the Doom was showing. So Monet will be okay. And that's the Helm finished. So Aster can look to strike back now. I mean, do you, could you imagine at this point, like, do Aster look to, to smoke and make plays with the Monkey King, or do they kind of still leave Mone to just focus on the farming? Let Mone farm. Move, make moves with the Lycan and the Puck. Yeah. I mean, Boboka's going to farm because he's Boboka, so make play as three. The Clockwork, the Puck, and that Lycan can start to shut down almost anyone. But XG, I mean, they're making the quick moves. They're playing very fast with Paparazzi. Fingers back online. Aster's ready to go as well. Puck up. And they'll start things off with the Dragon Tail stun and the burst of the finger. They'll blow up Siamese Cat. Jump forward with the Dream Call, but it only catches onto the Mirana. See if Good they're song. able to save him here. Ghost, buying time for DY to be able to safely TP out. And nice indeed, he, he'll make it away. Clean. Delete the Clockwork before he gets a spell yep. off. You see the Lycan Shapeshift come in. You see Coil used. Song reset. Really well played. And JT recovered. He's back. The, the Midas is finished. He is now likely to claim that top net worth spot very soon. So now I'd say yeah, XG. Especially after that last move starting to feel pretty good. Yeah, a good stack of Ancients as well, ready to clear. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's a really nice one. It's a good call. I like when teams stack Ancients when you're playing with like a DK that's making so many early moves. Once he hits 12, DK can help farm those really easy. Monet does have Maelstrom finished. Coil back up in 20, Shapeshift back up in 60. Bottom tower well, they, they're really they looking want, to yeah, They want to fight beyond the tier two. Oh, they, they found Paparazzi. Oh, no. He steps right up. He was not ready for them to surround him as quickly as they did here behind his own tier two tower. Oh, now there's tier two. I mean, there's no glyph. This tower is likely to fall. 15 uh -oh. minutes in, I think even earlier than the tier two time, and they got last game, Asta. Oh, big slip up there from Paparazzi. I mean, that's a massive kill. Monet completely now back at the top. Paparazzi was having a pretty flawless game. Yeah, I guess what well, you a big just one. didn't really expect Monet to, to be that aggressive and, and to be involved in that sort of mood, do you reckon? I guess not, right? Uh, he probably just expected them to be backing up and farming and yeah. stuff like that, but Aster with a heads up move. That was without Coil, and that was without Shapeshift. They just used Monet to actually go for that kill. That was a really cool play. Yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah, completely caught XG by surprise there. An arcane rune now spawns top, so XWY likely to get that one. Well, look to go again, Aster. Making some really nice moves, Aster. See if XG expected them to kind of sweep top as quickly as they did here. DY? I feel like DY tanks so many of these ganks. Probably saves JT's life there. And it's a perfect timing because JT honestly's BKB is coming out on the courier, so that would have been a pretty brutal death. And they're looking for the Lycan. Kaka's gonna die to the creeps. And he just has to run. No way to live. Oh, playing Lion versus Summons. How I do not miss seeing this. It's like playing versus Necrobook in the past. Just can't do anything in JT. He's... Do, they, they, do they know he's up here? I think they do. They no, do. They do now, for sure. He's got a BKB TP. There's no hook. Good call. Monet taunts him. Fully defensive BKB usage, though. It does hurt a little bit. And Paparazzi, with his death also, his BKB is starting to get a bit delayed. Quite a ways away. And as we see Aster. Aster does have a pretty ridiculous amount of damage in their draft with the Lycan, with this Monkey King. When Lycan has a good game, I mean, his damage just is crazy. You just Your levels that you're able to put into Howl and stuff like that comes online faster. All of your itemization comes on faster, too. Still close game. Less than 1k gold lead, but you have to always remember that a bit of that is inflated when there's a Doom with a Midas. And yeah, Paparazzi, as I was mentioning. He's level 12 now, so I think, yeah, give him... Oh, 
Arkinun actually disappears right in front of his face. That's sad. Spawns toward bottom. But now he's level 12, so he can pop the ult and he can farm the stack to finish off his BKB. All right. Okay. Uh, well, wait, he's going to take, take the Ancients? Yeah. He should. You you prefer that going to him than the Naga Sirens? I don't think Naga can farm that. It's okay. too big. He should definitely take it. Finds himself a Dragon Scale as well, too. The lore is good. This is going to be a very nice boost of cash and XP. Yeah, a needed one after he dies bottom. So we, we'll at least have that like safety. And they're going to have, what, double BKB timing. The Manta's done, of course, for Ghost. And he's probably going to have the Orchid when that fight all kicks off, too. So another answer, of course, for XWY. Tons of different forms of catch for this puck. He's... I mean, he might have to do a very similar build as last time. Maybe Assange into an Aeon Disc or something like that instead of the full Kai Assange. We'll see what the option is from him. And Monet, he pretty much has his Aghanims finished. Scouting coming out. They saw. They should have seen where that rocket came from, JT. Sami's cat gets the angle. He's got BKB, but he's controlled. The cogs already a fair bit of damage done before the BKB comes out. Now XXS is ready to get in on top of him. JT trying to run. XXS able to finish the kill off. DY again. Again in Dream Coiled. He, he just tanks them all. And now it's Roche. Very likely that they can start. I mean, yeah, DY, I swear. Last game, too, I think he got coiled like six Dude, times. Dude, like three times game. he got solo. They, they, <laughs> XWY just has it out for him. It's, it's, it's really worth it, right? They get that the catch on JT pops BKB, but you see how much damage Lycan's able to do with this type of, this type of gold. And yeah, now they get that rush and Monet right after, right as he finishes Axe, he's gonna have an A just to protect himself too. This could be a difficult one for, for Ghost to carry, even yeah. though the numbers are even at the moment. I mean, as you said, we, we what we saw before a similar sort of style draft going against the Naga Siren and a Naga Siren that was very far ahead so so to sort of be on level playing ground it's it's not going to be easy no and he doesn't have as i was mentioning like sometimes it's like you have this naga where it's easy to execute these type of like song disengage or song into like a big combo they just don't have that there is no combo with their song this time around unless you want to count like yeah sure the arrow but a lot of different ways for them to block the arrows and stuff like that in this so except you wide they'll get him no catch oh Yep, oh uh, they'll God. definitely get him. My God, Kaka. I mean, that was pretty unnecessary, but all right. Got to get those stacked. <laughs> I'm not a fan when I see that, but that's why I hate Lion. You want to use it every time, but you don't want to use <laughs> well, it. Because it's such a long cooldown yeah. at the start. I feel like it's like if you get the last hit, you should reduce the cooldown or something. They got to make give some here, some love to this hero because just it's not. It's only played I mean, by. If you, if you start coming in with buffs like that, suddenly we're, we're going to get a bit more core line, you know. If you make no, if you make the ult God. too appealing. Don't ever say that. You know. There's literally one person in the world who plays Lion, and it's Kaka for the last five years. They're feeding paparazzi the tomes. They want him to get, keep getting that scaling. They know that their supports aren't going to scale in the same manner, so they want to make sure that this uh, DK has some good levels. But Boca, though, as we've come to expect, Takes the Grove Bow for himself instead of on the puck. He's going for his scaling. And yeah, XWY, he buys, he, he immediately switches the build, by the way, on the puck. He's just like, all right, screw it. I'm just going to go BKB if they want to play like this. Could be some like BKB on They're this, going for him they're again. They're on the hunt. They want him again. <laughs> Off they go to the top, looking for the puck. I love it. And they might just catch him. They want to know he's here. But let's see. Do they get him? He's careful. Paparazzi is heading in. He knows he's in the trees here. Arrow. He'll get Whoa. the vision. Oh, he's able to get the face shift. He dodged off. the dragon tail. He did dodge the dragon tail. And Kaka now. Ha ha. <laughs> he's been turned on. Nice play, XWI. Very good awareness. And Oh, wow. Yeah, that's sentry. Actually catches the, catches the obs ward as well as the... All righty. A little double benefit. I love that. The little, yeah, the phase shift to dodge the dragon tail actually gets it perfect timing. They didn't get the initial hex. Well, on the hey. plus for Pekake, we'll at least have the, the finger back up when he's he's back in place. So they can look to make a go. Uh, sure. See at the moment with the odds provided to us by a partner esportsbet.io. Uh, feeling that XG 
uh, are to be favoured at the moment. But uh, yeah, the 2k gold lead, 3k gold lead now. That's interesting. It, it, it definitely feels like that, that net worth lead could be a little bit deceiving. Agreed. With, uh, what Aster can do. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree. I, mean, I feel like Aster, they're in a very comfortable spot this mm -hmm. game right now. Just not the easiest game for this Naga to solo carry, especially as DK started to fall further and further behind. The Doom, as we've seen, G JT, yeah, he's rich, but what impact does he really have with this net worth? If he's not able to find any type of Dooms at all. Aster, they force heroes back. They reset their position, and Ghost still doing very nicely. He's got his heart finished up. Ghost, it's a long TP. He got scouted by Rocket. Mono is able to put a stop to it. Uh, song is available. He's got no TP though, and the clock is running over. Oh, he's gonna no! miss. Not quite able to catch him there. Uh, still try and chase, but and the Monet. Is there, Monet. He's got it. He's just still. He's got the silence onto him, so they should be able to get him the one. See if they can do it a second time. JT ready to move in as well. He's got Doom. He's ready to slam it down onto the Monkey King if necessary. It might not even need to be as the stun connects and Mone is gone. They're still looking to fight. XXS is running over. But losing more heroes though, Asta. Sami's cat goes down. And with the three of them, they can't really fight on. Another Infernal Blade slammed down onto Baboka. It's going to be another death oh, on wow. Asta. Three down. All this because the hook shot. If they connect this, if he, I mean, he had tumblers as well too. He maybe could have tumbled and then hook shot it, but the fact that that happens is huge. And now Doom, JT, he's level 15. So now he can eat the Ancient of the Lycan in all these team fights. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is remarkable the way that all kicks off. And losing a tier two tower as well by the looks of it. We'll see it again. Cause right, he had tumble and stuff like that too, but he goes for the hook and just off the mark. And then at this point, Unfortunately for Mane, jumping in immediately, you know, you see Kaka, quick play there. That ward was only just slammed down on the high ground, so ready to catch him with the vision and the hex onto the tree. Although he was standing upon. And uh, at that point, yeah, you're losing Mane twice like that. There's That's no big. chance for a fight there for Asta. Yeah, now I agree with those odds, probably. <laughs> After that one, a very good play from XG from Ghost. Now might find another one. I got so many stuns. And look at the silence of the net, but uh, they won't try and push him for, for the Enchantress kill. Happy with what they've got already. Up to a 7k lead now, XG. Very nice. And they kept the Doom, so they still have it in case a fight does go down. JT looking for an opportunity. Monet almost having BKB, but it's been slowed down a lot after that kill. And XWI, he, he changed the build again, by the way, on the puck. Had BKB, now he's like, okay, I need Lincolns because these, these instant catches and stuff like that. So having to switch around a lot. Yeah, I mean, the, the instant catches are what's getting them. The, the Hexes from Kaka and the, the Dragon Tail from Paparazzi. Very difficult to play against. Ghost? They might, I think they might think that's an illusion for a second there. I think Ghost, yeah. yeah I mean, he feels strong. He's yep. got the heart. He's got Song up. Great play. Okay, form, stun, another kill. I mean, yeah, they're just picking up kills rapidly now, XG. Asta, they've got to try and slow down the bleeding a little bit. Just hard now, too, because even joining the fights as I was mentioning, with the Doom having 15, he just, like, and runs in, and he just, om nom nom, just eats that Ancient immediately. We'll get this Curry as well, Paparazzi taking that out, so no BKB for Mono for a, for a little bit of extended time with that recipe being sniped. I, that's a, I mean, that is an enormous Courier kill. It's two and a half minutes, no BKB on Mone. Roche could even spawn during this time. Now yeah, more than likely. So, uh, then Asta, they've got to consider if they want to try and fight this with without BKB Monkey King, and Asta's probably know that they don't. It, he'll get punished too easily with the amount a stuns that they can just easily clip him with. They saw it too, right? But they definitely saw that the BKB was on. It's, it's... I imagine Power Price probably checked before he took it out. Yeah. yeah. Ghost playing very aggressively with that. Ghost's item timing is going to be excellent now, even going for the butterfly yeah. versus this Monkey King, who's quite far behind at this point to be able to go for something like MKB. How long on Rush? Five seconds. We're going to find out. If it's a fast one, Aster just can't contest it. No, absolutely. Anything under kind of two minutes in the happy. One minute All 30. All right, so 
It's going to be close. The time it spawns, there's going to be like, what, about a 20 second window between Roshan being up and Mono getting his hands on his BKB recipe. Mm -hmm. So, But even with that, Ghost, he's yeah. got Butterfly. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure, the Nagasar is massive, so. so. Oh, boy. DD scouted, also scouting the Roche. It's not quite up. And JT, he's found XWI bottom. That's a solo kill. Big stuff. Look at that gold now on JT. He has a full Octarine. And he's even Monite. looking to set up for Whoa. top. Okay. I'll nearly be able to clear out the whole wave there. Full AC now for Paparazzi. Yeah, Starting to get items. some big items, yeah. And continuously scouting Rush. 20 seconds. I mean, can, can you contest this if you're Asta? Doesn't really feel like it. They've just got so much control around this area. You yeah. know, XG, they can really de determine if they want to take the fight or not around the Song of the Siren. And DY now buys a gem too, so they're going to be able to constrict that vision even more. Continuously scouting the Rosh with the rockets, but boom, it's up, Kaka. He scouts it immediately. And let's see if they just run right into that pit. Does feel like they can. Three seconds, Courier. I want to try and maybe take a take a kill first. Unless this is just a smoke into Roche. Looks like it will be. Rocket Flare comes in and we'll see the, the arrow connectors. They, they know this is going on, Asta. What do they... Have? What do they want to do about it? Can they walk through the vision? DY's in position to break the smoke. XG knows it's coming. They're trying to prepare for a fight outside of the pit before. There's a haste as well, ready to play. XWY has just finished his Lincolns. They get the stun on XXS. It's going to be the jumper response. They're under the hook shot. It's given a little bit of an opportunity for XXS, but the silence still comes in. Wukong's command's there. The power strike down onto the two of them, but the BKB's a pop by JT. The song. Goes with the song. He's stepping out of the ult for now. So far, just one for one between the sides. Stun. Oh, so he jumped forward again from XWY. They'll throw out the finger damage, but it's not enough to threaten Astra. Now the BKB on Mane. He's in on top of the Dragonite. Mane standing his ground against Paparazzi. Paparazzi oh goes down. Uh-oh. Ghost? Can he go back in? He's thinking about it. That's kind of difficult now without Paparazzi. The fact that JT's had to take the walk back to base. They got the gem. They were able to take down away from DY. Yeah, Monet, a very, solid fight for Asta there. A beautiful Wukongs and yeah. patience too. He didn't Wukongs and BKB, so it's not like both were wasted at the same time. So he Wukongs, Song comes out, he waits, then he gets the BKB, and they find Paparazzi. He actually used the BKB perhaps a little bit too early and then gets stuck inside the coil. And that was with XXS dying 100 to 0. He got uh, yeah, absolutely nothing that, off. That definitely, uh, you know, something to be said there for Asta if, they, if they're able to come out of a fight like that whilst behind. Beautiful damage coming out from the Puck and the Monkey King. Yeah, full me on it. Now on Mone. Okay. And yeah, we see the Doom now. He picks up the Purge Creep, so has a way to break the Lincolns and then get the Doom perhaps onto XWY afterwards. So if they feel that they have the strength to get back into the pit. Probably feeling a little shaken up, but they are going to commit into it. It's half HP. Constant Rocket Scout. Constant Puck Orbs, though. Does have Song of the Siren back up. It's going to start. Uh, looks like Aster is sort of falling back from the area. Then Monet's coming. over to the outpost, but it, Roshan's going quick. And they make it in. XWY might try for a steal. He's heading in. He's going to go for the jump. He gets the kill, but Ghost will be able to secure the Aegis. Grabs the Aegis. They'll kill off Siamese Cat. They'll have the control to take down XWY as well. See if Poboka is able to escape. He'll opt for a TP. There's no. St Ooh. They try with the song to catch him, but the TP was quick enough. He's away, and they won't catch anyone else with the song. So, as they try and make the steal, XWS, he gets the kill. I don't, did they get the shard either? Who got the shard? Uh, XG got the shard. As XG well, got too. the shard, yeah. So, yeah, Ghost was able to grab the shard, grab the Aegis. Uh, Asta only able to get the kill from that. XG, they'll now try and move into the high ground push. Felt like a bit of a desperate jump there, trying to just prevent that is now. Ghost. Yeah, let's start Monet the big one. The Wukong's command into the boundless strike. Immediately takes down Kaka and Paparazzi and Ghost. They've got to step out of it. And Baboka, he'll be saved. 
He didn't pop BKB, Monet also again. I mean, he's being very careful with his BKBs with his Wukong. I like it. They don't got a big kill, though. It's just a Kaka. It looks like it could have been more, but they're able to walk away on XG. Puts a stop to the push. Monet. He's heading out of the base. Still has his BKB, so he feels safe to jump over here. Paparazzi, he still has BKB, so he should be okay. A DY attempted to get That's coiled again. Good hook shot this time. Sami's getting in, closing the gap. Ghost? He was thinking about fighting this. Okay. Now, of course, he has got the Aegis. He's pretty buff. Now, back up in 10 seconds, so he himself not really having too much to fear, evidently. Poor DY. I mean, they tried to coil him again. Every single time, it feels like. Ghost, though, massive. He's feeling good. Same thing for JT. How's his itemization looking? He is going for the Shiva's next. He's also quite massive. And yeah, they've I, I I'm they've really shut down XXS after he's had like that really good start on the Lycan. He has been so quiet. Oh Bono. No, Monet. JT got the Doom off. Monet. The Jingu. Trying to stand his ground. He's ticking down low there. And uh, indeed the damage has been done by JT. Another solo kill by the Doom. Is he also going to be able to live through this? Shouldn't be able to. He's getting but, away. Oh, the Glimmer's no there. Way. The heals as well. Okay. They see him. XWY in. Will still be able to take him out. But top lane, they're losing the tier three. Ghost is onto the barracks. And Mono, he does not have buybacks. He's he spent not his be gold. around for this defense. Yeah, Monet spent his gold. Oh, they're going to lose a Rax, maybe even two. Let's see how much Asta can do to push them back, just as the three of them. Very difficult to try and peel the Naga Siren off the barracks here as Ghost takes the full set. Oh, JT, what a boss. I mean, two times this game, he's got an, in, like immense solo kills on the puck, on the Monkey King there now, too. And yeah, that, that's two sets. Ghost even cutting the bottom wave with an illusion. Nobody can threaten these illusions except for the Monkey King. They just have to watch them take it. Two sets there. XG able to grab 23k lead. They can keep their presence on the map now too. They can stay in this area and constrict Aster inside the base. DK now level 20. He's got the Aghanims finished up too. Tough ways for them to deal with these three cores. Monet, trying to get that Linker's Fit done. Just a little bit sure of the goal for the recipe. They have ways to break it, though, as we've seen. The Purge that comes out from the Doom, it's always going to be there to initially break it. Plus multiple different spells, of course, from Kaka. Yeah, they're entering. They want to close this one out. Paparazzi he sees a target. He may just throw himself in and look for, for the opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes still a minute left on the Aegis, so can definitely look for it. Arrow. Oh, okay. Catch Monet. Won't look to do anything crazy off the back of that, though. As they'll get their next times out, goes... That's the hex. Oh my god. That ready to slot in after this age just comes to an end. Another, I mean, last game, even though they lost, he had a very good performance on the Wraith King. This time, 2 0 9. He's having a flawless one. He likes the dragon skill. It's good to poke towers on these illusion heroes when you can just tap them, just put that little dot on them. So he's hanging on to that for some time. It's almost 37 minutes too. He'll be able to replace that in a second. Let's have a look on this. Uh, and this next moment, if you're asked, uh, you, do you want to take the fight in the base or you got to get out? Feels very hard for them to get out. The Naga's just going to keep them trapped. Spell Prism, JT's happy. He actually, I actually didn't see that. He did not take the Doom cooldown in this game. It's usually, I mean, I, I actually rarely see people take the Scorcher talent. Interesting. It's pretty much 100% uptime. Cool. Timeless Relic. He's probably like asking his team, he's like, all right, do you want the Timeless or should I take it? They'll give the Timeless up. Honestly, it feels like he might have been the best one to hold and then you give the Spell Prism to somebody else, but whatever.
we see the Naga switch the item in, takes the ascetic cap. XG is being hesitant on trying to push for that final set. I mean, they, they definitely could wait for the next rush. A couple of minutes and we'll see when it's back. They're farming the whole map. Yeah, I mean, it's, so. they don't really need to force it. No. They're in a very, very good position right now. And now maybe, like you were saying, Aston might just be forced to fight outside the sure. base with the way that this is going. Oh. Well, the stuns are going to be out. And that'll be Siamese Cat taken down. Oh, they get the Hex. They've got the catch as well under the puck. And he's going to be a white coin in the mid. He just spent his gold. He just finished Overwhelming Blink. He's gone for 80. I mean, serious damage is going to be done now by XG. That no should be doubt Megas. about it. There may even be the game. See how much XG can get away with now. There's the jump. Try and catch on to Monet. We'll be able to get the BKB off. Turns with the Battle Strike and gets the Wukong's command down. JT, he on disc helps him. They just walk away. That's everything from Aster. I they mean, just it, call and it. They call it. They yeah. call it there. They know there's nothing else to be done. Three versus five. GG is called. XG here in this game, too. I mean, just a night and day comparison from that game one performance. Yeah, I mean, JT.